eastern coast of China, nestled within Hangzhou, often referred to as Shanghai's backyard, lies Tianducheng, China, a grand vision of Paris thousands of miles from France. Conceived in 2007, this ambitious project aimed to provide a slice of European elegance for newlyweds and middle-class families priced out of the city center. With plans for a community of 10,000 people, by 2013 it was only at 2,000, but today it stands at an estimated population of 30,000. Yet somehow, people say it still feels abandoned. Despite its striking 354-foot replica of the Eiffel Tower, Tian Duchang's isolation has been its downfall. A picturesque dream still partly under construction, striving to capture the essence of Parisian charm, except without the crowds. And in today's video, we are going to take you with for a raw exploration of China's version of Paris. This is Paris. To determine what life is actually like here. And the question I want to figure out by the end of this is, could you live here? Ni Hao Ma from a very unique place that might look very similar to many European cities you have seen. And maybe as we turn around, you're going to recognize something right behind me that looks a lot like Paris, France. Since Paris is so far away from China, why not just build Paris inside of China? So today we're going to be heading inside and exploring this place and sharing with you what a Chinese version of Paris is like. So let's head on and go explore. In order to get there, we asked the hotel staff to explain where we needed to go to our taxi driver, but it seemed nobody was even familiar with the Paris replica. However, after a bit, we figured it out and took a $100 two-hour taxi there, and these were my first thoughts upon arrival. It's pretty wild because you have this feeling of being in somewhat of a European city, yet you're obviously surrounded by Chinese writing. It's actually got more people than I'd expect, especially on a gloomy day like today, so. What up, bro? What up, bro? Do you know how to come in, get in? No, no. You don't know? Uh, you guys, where are you from? Uh, Algeria. Algeria, hello. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm American, but I'm going to go to the entrance. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, I will mara be uh, seen. I will mara be seen. Alhamdulillah. And it calms Arab quiet. Quiet, eh? Me, me, me. YouTuber. Eh, eh. Come and take any followers. Eh, eh. Be uh, YouTube. Tariban. Sitte elf. Sitte elf. Jdi. Sorry, sitte meet elf. Sitte meet elf. It's like eh. Some mil. It's like it's YouTube. And you're sajil. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be the uh. Assalamu alaikum, hey, 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 hey. how are you guys? Rifate min Algeria, eh? Rifate min Algeria? Eh, eh, sa. Okay. I'm gonna be the name of Ganat. Ganat. It's Mac Shoe. It's my Mac Candy. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, you didn't expect to meet someone that spoke Arabic here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. in Lebanese accent, it was like incredible. Hey, oh. hey, sa, sa. Yeah. يا خيي شرفنا يلا بنشوفك قريبا يا خيي شرفنا بنشوفكم اذا على الراد ايه ان شاء الله well, that's pretty sweet i didn't expect right when i arrived to the paris of france i'd be uh meeting some uh, algerian bros here <laughs> you guys got to see my arabic speaking skills but we are walking into the streets down here and we're trying to find ali and harry now i got to watch for these guys cuz there's a good chance that they'd be hiding to scare me now that they have my live location but this is it, like Paris and China. You've got, I don't know if I'd consider these any similar to Paris or maybe I'm not remembering, but these more are similar to what I've seen in like some of the other places I've explored in China. Just a lot of like similar buildings and yeah, it's, it's pretty wild to be walking through this area. 
Now, I did hear this place was more of a ghost town, but I will say it doesn't feel like a ghost town. It just kind of feels like a quieter suburban city. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to get inside to see the Eiffel Tower because there's no entrance. So, I really wanted to be able to go up to it and show you guys what it looks like inside there. Yeah, I'm trying to locate where Harry and Ali are. So, we'll try and go down this pathway. There's like no sounds besides a few things in the distance. And this is a local pathway we're going to be going down. Nihao Ma. All right, they probably didn't understand my uh, dialect of Chinese. Where is everybody? It's a bit eerie, yet it's perfectly maintained. I mean, I'm walking through here, and we've got a clean bike path to go running through. You can hear the birds chirping. Nishalama. <laughs> Nishalama. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of them. So what I'm saying, Nishalama, it is different than, you know, like a lot of other languages where you'll say like, hey, how are you? Or how's it going? Like here you say, did you eat today? Which is pretty different, right? Like you're asking in a much more caring way. I think it's a nice way. Like, did you eat today? Check in on them. Did they have some food? And so they don't expect to hear that from a foreigner. That's why they're like, <laughs> but we got to watch wherever we're going now because you never know. Ali and Harry, they have my location. And so, they could be jumping out at us. We're almost caught up to them. Seems like they're inside one of these buildings. When I look around at all these towers though, it seems like there's people in there because you see laundry hanging up. Not much of a ghost town. Guys, so this whole time that I walked way out there, the maps, GPS are completely wrong. So that's far off. They were showing me that Harry was near me. I was almost on him and then he would just like move out of another place and now he's telling me he's over by the Eiffel Tower so that means this whole time I was going in the wrong direction but that's all right it makes for a bit of an adventure now here we are walking up to the Eiffel Tower all right I'm being told that the boys are somewhere here near Starbucks and there's an opening to get in about one meter wide oh all right oh Someone just opened it up. Yeah, it was closed. Oh, Bro, like these Google Maps, you cannot trust. I, I walked so far out looking for you guys. And I'm like, I was about to like go in through this gate that was clearly like for residents only. And I'm like, but they're back there. And then yeah. like, you just were like, meet at Starbucks. I'm like, this is so far from Starbucks. Why would he say that? And uh, yeah, now we made it to the Paris of China. Looks a little bit different than Paris though. What do you think, bro? I mean, I'm stunned. Like, this place is just so eerie and it feels like, it feels really strange. Like, you've got all the Chinese buildings behind it and then just deserted. Wow, yeah, this is crazy. This reminds me of one of those movies like Day After Tomorrow or End of the World where it's like 50 years later after the population's gone and everything's overgrown here. This is crazy. It really does feel like a replica though, especially when you look at this opening leading up to the Eiffel Tower with this style of architecture. So it looks like there's a little wraparound area and this thing's been standing since around like 2007. So you can tell like after all this time, all these projects, Ali Machan, we found him. Did you guys go under? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you, just, you just walked right under? So bizarre, yeah, you can. Look at this. I wish we could go up there. And there is a staircase to get up. Now, all it is, is a home for the birds. We are underneath the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's much easier, because when you're in Paris, there's so many tourists here, you can get a photo wherever you want. Look at this, guys. Welcome to the Eiffel Tower. Oh, if only we could get over there because there's the staircase we could climb all the way up to the top. But I'll tell you, if there's any place that I'm not going to break any rules, it's going to be China because I don't want to end up locked up and also have a language barrier. They must be doing something with this place though because they have cranes actively moving dirt and it looks like they're tearing a bunch of stuff down. But this is it. A lonely Eiffel Tower. So if you're thinking about coming to Paris, but you don't want the crowds, here you don't even have to Photoshop the people out of it. There's just nobody here. China. Which country or which uh, which uh, province? Oh, uh, Hanzhou. 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 Why did you come here? 
Um, because Near I hate a video. <laughs> a video, yeah? Chinese people, they are very, they, they like Paris, they like France. What's me? Uh, like Very, it so much. So really? much. Yes. yes. And what's your favorite thing about China? Uh, China or France? Mm, China. Uh, for the bar. And the camera. Camera, yeah. And the vlog. Vlog. Vloggers, yeah. Vloggers. You're awesome. The vlogging brothers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. That's great. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. What, uh, what channel is your vlogs on? Uh, what, that's right. what channel YouTube. is your vlogs? YouTube. Neo YouTube. YouTube. You know, in China, we not have a YouTube. Oh. Yeah. But I love YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Tell them they have very nice style. Like, that's my boss. Oh, oh, oh the boss yeah. man. Oh, like like <laughs> El Reyes. <laughs> Reyes. 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 Oh, you got the lens. Oh, yeah, we don't want to drop that. Shishi, enjoy your time. Here in China, they love, they, they adore foreigners. Really? Yeah, yeah. Especially like they have like like you, like yellow hair and <laughs> white, like white red face. So they treat you well. Oh, yeah. awesome. That's good. So in general, like foreigners, they treat them so good here. Brother? <laughs> you told me you're going to make my day. Oh, you already you know. know. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't expect coming to an abandoned Paris that I'd be meeting some Algerian brothers who's yeah. fluent in Mandarin and you speak Thank French, you Mandarin, so Arabic, English. Arabic, English, France and um, I have, I'm having like Chinese now. And Chinese, that's, yeah. that's a man of I many languages. I have been one year here in China. And, and how long uh, are you planning on staying? Yeah, I, I, I'm planning here to stay. I'm, I live in, I'm living in Taiyan, not far from the, the capital, Beijing. So all the Chinese like, they speak Putonghua, uh, which means like uh, a the, different dialect? Yeah, no, no. The fir the main dialect here in China, which uh, oh, okay. So we, s I speak the the main. Wow, you take Alf Afia. Allah khalik, habibi. Take Alf Afia, habibi. Habibi Albe. Salam alaikum. Malikum salam. And we'll see you soon. 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 Yeah, Harry and Ali have never even been to actual Paris, right? <laughs> yeah, I live an hour flight away. I've never been. <laughs> now we're going to head into this area. Maybe uh, check out some of the local shops around here. What do you got over there, sire? Oh, so good. Oh, oh, oh freshly made dogs. Ni hao, ma. Ni hao. This is my friend. Oh, okay, very nice. <laughs> some delish dogs right there. What do we got all along here? I mean, there's a lot of businesses open all along the uh, opening here. I think I might have to try out one of these uh, bubble teas. I've always wanted to get one. Ni hao ma. All right, let's see. I can't read any of this, so I think I'll have to go for something on the uh, photos up there. Uh, this one, Oreo? Uh, Oreo. Oreo? Oreo nice, Probably asking if I want a small or a large. That's my guess. We shall see. All right, let's, let's try this one. Wo kie shi yi jiao kui ao li yo ma? Wo kui nai xiao kai. Oh, there we go. We've got some good progress here. Uh, yeah, this. Shi shi. Guys, we're having quite a uh, language barrier here. There's no way to uh, figure this one out. <laughs> Everyone's dying laughing in here because no, we're having such a big language barrier. I thought I understood them. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, perfect. Yeah, 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 perfect. All right, we figured it out. See, this is a way. If you don't speak the same language, then you just get the ice or the one that's steaming. Oh, okay, shishe, shishe. Sounds like local Chinese music. Oh, uh, yes, please. Oh, shake it up. Get that thing going, ready to be drank. Oh. Shishe, shishe. Thank you, thank you. Mmm. Very good. Shishe, bye. 
Mmm. I hear them all giggling as I was walking out. No, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, if you don't speak the same language, there's always a way to figure it out, whether it's using Google Translate. We did some hand gestures. She so showed me like an ice cube, and then she also showed me like a hot steaming thing. So, <laughs> that's cool. But it looks like all along here, we've got coffee shops. We've got a couple places to get some food. Yeah, nice little area. And this thing tastes not as sweet as I was expecting it to, especially because they loaded it with Oreo. It tastes kind of like bubble tea with a light hint of Oreo. Hello! Ni hao <laughs> oh, bro, you're fluent in French. Bonjour, ça va. Welcome, Très bien. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> oh, bro, you got this the is, Frenchy accent. This is my humble bird. <laughs> this, this is Paris. This is Paris. It's just the same. <laughs> mm. <laughs> World's dankest right there, bro. Is this Paris? You want to rip that thing? Is this French? Oh, that's as good as it gets. Ni Oh, naughty. Oh, yeah. Oh, panda flavor. You know, with a little Oreo right down I there. I hope they didn't use any pandas to make this. <laughs> Fresh panda, yummy, yummy. So look at this. We have a huge fountain right here. It's turned off. This place is like 50% in operation, 50% ghost town. I don't know, ghost town's not a great way to describe it. Because if you look at a lot of these places, there's clothes hanging up. There's lights on in some of these places. People live here. The businesses are all open. I think it's probably because it's just a gloomy day. There's not that many tourists here. But I mean, you don't see really any storefronts here that are closed down. You just see kind of some of the main attractions that are not not operating. But that might just because it's cold out. It's near winter and they don't want the pipes to freeze. Ni shole ma? Kushodi. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's good, me too. Oh, <laughs> ha. Yeah, <laughs> not sure what that means, but seems like a cool guy. Wow, we are here. All right, so it looks like this is where the uh, local fruit and vegetables are. And you can tell this place definitely has the best of the best. I mean, there's not a single bruise on any of these bananas. The oranges are so vibrant. You can tell that means the soil here is rich. The dragon fruit, I mean, the uh, level of quality in this produce is impressive. But we're going to see what we find right down this way. I see some sort of rotating... Maybe that's duck? Oh, ho, ho, you guys know I love my duck. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Is this going to be it? Let's see if we can get ourselves one duck. Ni hao? Ni hao ma? Ni shuli ma? One duck? Oh, one of these? We're gonna get ourselves one hot duck right here. Surprise the boys, they're not gonna know. I hope they don't find me before I get this one. Oh yes, right, one of those. Shisha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can get it sliced up too. Uh, shisha, shisha. Oh, we've got a bunch of other ingredients we can add right onto here. I really love it. It's such an amazing smell in here. So many good foods and an inviting place. This is going to be good, the local duck. We're chopping it up right here, turning that duck into a nice evening snack. D to the lish. I love that duck is so commonly eaten out here because it's one of my favorite meats to have. Uh, uh, how yeah. much? Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, no, no problem. Shishe. All right, we got ourselves a nice big duck. Now we got to find the boys, see if they're going to want to test this out with me. You can't go wrong with some fresh duck. Hopefully we didn't lose them again, because we know we're not going to be able to find them if we did. Ah, oh, yes, they're there down there. Ni Hi ho, hi ho! What have you got there? You'll never guess. You boys want to try a little duck? Hey. What'd you say? Oh yeah, say a little duck? a little dealer's chow. <laughs> right in front of the Eiffel, you know. 
This is pretty common in Paris. You can get yourself a freshly roasted duck just like this. The whole thing? Oh yeah. Guess how much? Uh, 20? 20. 26. Jeez, you guys have been keeping up with the prices. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect you guys to get everything right. <laughs> and we'll grab yourselves a nice little glove there. Oh, baby. We're going to be feasting. Ni is always important, huh? <laughs> you already know it. Ni <laughs> shalima. You got to say no. No. <laughs> Did you eat yet? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Check oh. that out, boys. Is that a duck thigh? What the duck? A chicken thigh? Oh, I need a duck thigh. <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, wow. I'm going to go for one of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Oh, man. Oh, the food god likes that? Yeah, it's good, man. Mm. Look at that. Ooh. Nice and crispy. Dark bit of meat. Salty, fatty. Ducking oh. hell, that's good. Oh. That's what, what do you think, better than the food tour we went on? No. <laughs> no I can't beat it? Oh, yeah. oh, you're wearing it or you're eating it, bro? <laughs> Duck in front of the Eiffel Tower. This is one thing yeah. you can't get in the normal Paris. I'll tell no you way. what, I was not expecting to be sucking on a bone in front of uh, Eiffel Tower today. <laughs> it's your specialty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a nice big thing of duck. This could feed a lot of people. We're going to try out a nice piece of the breast, it looks like. Mm. Nothing better than some duck from the locals. This thing is still hot. They have it on that little rotator right there. And surprisingly, for however long that's been on there, it still keeps it well cooked and not too cold. The duck is really tasty. It's a bit on the drier side. But I'm sure it's hard to keep this thing nice and juicy in these types of like uh, on and off temperatures. But it's got a nice taste to it, almost like a buttery outside layer. Mm. That is how you warm up here in Paris. Get a nice duck leg in your hand. Delish. All right, we are heading up towards the front because we've got a bunch of dancing going on. So this shall be interesting to see we're gonna get a little party and go Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, bro, you're really good. <laughs> it's all because of these happy feet, guys. <laughs> yeah. <I feel> so like. <laughs> you're about the same age as these things. <laughs> and copy them exactly. Uh, the British legend is going in. So make sure you check out my clothing brand just launched it link down in the description below. Let's oh, get into it. And we got a Mac as well. Oh, yeah. oh this guy's done this before. <laughs> I'd say that was quite an experience. Got to come right down here at night too in the cold. And they're out here dancing, having a good time. This place comes to life. I don't know what people are talking about when they say this place is a ghost town. This is full of energy, even in the cold weather. Garfield. Hey Garfield. Garfield. Good boy. Good boy. Garfield. Come here Garfield. He looks like Garfield. Cute little guy. But you like the attention, don't you? Oh, yes, Garfield. Oh, no one comes and gives you back scratches, do they? Oh, that's a nice one. 
That's a nice one, yeah, isn't it, Garfield? Guys, we've explored as much as we could around here, and the only way to finish this is to get ourselves a massage. We've located one here at the Zhang Yuan Yuan place. I've been carrying around what looks to be a small little backpack, but I got a drone in there, probably three or four battery packs, 10 GoPro batteries, and I don't know, maybe a few other random items. So we gotta get those knots out, bro. You ready for this massage? I'm kind of on my problems with that all times. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna get them all massaged out, bro. Oh, oh look at this. The vibrant light. Oh, shishé, shishé. So we got all set up. Shishé. Oh, well, this looks great. A nice big spot here. Everyone's getting their massages done. Oh, yeah. We got a couple parts we're going to have to work right out. What about you, Sire? Oh, I'm ready. I am ready. Deep tissue? I'm just trying to figure out the prices here. Yeah, good point. I think they seem pretty reasonable because right up there, oh, make sure you don't get the 1200 one. Exactly, that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, it is time. This is always the best part of the day when we get to work out a nice little foot massage. Harry said he ordered us a little cupping like our buddy over here's got going on. I've never had cupping in my life. What is that even like? It feels really wet. It's not painful though. Oh, okay. I don't know if she understood. I don't think she did. And does it turn your foot like purple? Yeah, the, the cups will be super red. Oh wow. It's great for circulation. Oh, that's great. We got something going on. Someone's making a fresh cup of joe back there. All right, she just brought me a nice hot cup of water. Mmm. Oh, this isn't just warm. This is full on hot. Burn my tongue. It's great for the health here in China to have nice and hot water. Ah, very refreshing. Actually, it is nice since we're so cold right now to have a nice warm cup of water. It's almost like tea without flavor. Yeah, you gotta oh, what do we got going on here? A little flower petal. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that is nice and warm. Oh, oh. ah! Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Guys, this smells. Oh, that smells so good. That smells similar to like one of those really nice flavored teas. Like we had on our food tour, these flavored teas that have just fresh. Drink it then. Yeah. You know it's custom to drink it. Then. Oh, no way. <laughs> this guy's opposite is just staring at me. Oh, yeah, we're probably not supposed to drink that. Oh, that smells so good. And once your feet adjust to that, oh, that feels so good. It's literally defrosting them. It just felt extra hot because obviously when you're walking around and your feet are like, so so cold you, you know, obviously your brain takes the heat first from your hands and your toes i think probably toes even more so then you put them in this hot water and you just get this contrast of ice cold toes defrosting and now i think we're coming back to the body temperature we need to be at to go into full relaxation ah. oh. <laughs> he doesn't know if he ate today. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, he's pushing me straight down. I'm gonna be shorter after this. Oh, oh, ah, that is perfect right there because I've been carrying around that backpack. Which, even if there's only maybe seven kilos in there, that adds up when you're putting on 13, 14,000 steps. Today's a lighter day compared to other days, but ah, he's just digging his thumb right into there. Looks like Harry signed us up for a 75 minute massage, and we're not doing a second over. Is the first place in in the world I've been to where they actually time it. I think you found exactly which muscles I worked out at the gym. All right, oh, we're moving near the ears, the temple. That's great. We're gonna get rid of that headache. Tai uh, haula. Thank you. They said oh, thank you. He speaks English. Shishi. Oh, all right. We're literally getting the brain massage now. Oh, you good? <laughs> oh, putting the elbow into it. There we go. Tai haula. 
了，太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。太好了。Oh, are there horses around? No. Oh, we're switching to the arm. Oh. What's going on now? All right, this looks like it's gonna hurt. Oh. We're getting deep. Oh. Well, this is a Chinese massage for you, boys. They rip you apart. This is more intense than... I don't know how I'm ever going to go back to a normal massage after this. Yeah, me too. I don't know how to Oh, wow, we're literally twisting this way like the exorcist. Oh. Oh, I don't know if my body moves that, that much further, brother. Oh. Oh. I think he's using his knee to go straight into the back. Whoa, oh. Whoa is that your knee? I hope that's her knee. I'm oh, getting the muscles from holding up the camera all day. Oh, he's doing something to my arm. There's some muscle in there that must have been pulled that just... Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> 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 Guys, this is not an act. This actually was like hurts so good. This is the definition of hurts so good. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, he's making them snap and pop. Wow. We're doing full on rotations. Oh. Uh, you, you speak English? You speak English. No, 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 no. Oh, good English. Oh, yeah. He just asked me how old I was when I turned the camera off, so maybe they understand more than we expected. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got a smile out of him. He's undercover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. A good old beating, boys. You're still standing. Feels good actually. Yeah, after. yeah it feels fantastic. Ah. Oh. Oh, all right, we got through the hardest part. Looks like he's got the scapels out. He's gonna be cutting off your toes, bro. Yeah, it's gonna get less from here, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, looks like we got ourselves some tools right there. Some sort of knife there. What is in there? That's an interesting look. All right. Oh, that must be the razor blade. Oh, what is going on there? Oh, that's ticklish. <laughs> I wonder what that's getting off there. Is that getting some gook? What is that on there? What are you, got on? What are you pulling off there? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff dropping. Oh, she's gonna hook it up. Oh, right. oh there we go. So you guys get to see what I don't even get to see right now. I'm guessing he's just scraping hey, big chunks of skin. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's filming Harry right now. Yeah, yeah this has got to be the most wild uh, massage that you get. Three foreigners come in who only know how to say Ni shule ma? Ni hao ma? And zabardas? What's zabardas? Tai hao la. Tai hao la. Three words. Three cameras. <laughs> They've never had this. Oh, he's chiseling away. Ah, you can't just cut my ear, right? You cut my ear, then give me a little bit of your hair. Oh, I guess it's easy as of you guys. I've got a Veruca, so I think he's trying to fucking slice that thing off. What's a Veruca? Thank you, Shishi. Yeah, but it's not like a... I guess it's like a wall. Oh, wow, he's got it. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff coming off. That is insane. Let's see what my foot looks like now. 
Oh yeah, that foot has never looked better. So much skin has been chopped right off. Tai haola. Oh, what's going on over here? Super ticklish. <laughs> all right, look at this. We're just pulling all the skin right in between the toes. Holy crap. They are detailed. Oh my gosh. That's gross what he pulled out. My feet are nasty. <laughs> Imagine if you were, you were doing this all day, every day. I feel like you would love it. <laughs> It'd be your specialty, bro. Woo! Tickles right in between there. Look at the feet are done. They're soaking there. Now we've got a nice, oh, warm, kind of like an airplane pillow filled up with, it seems like, maybe stones. Oh, I think it's time for a nap. Oh, what are we cooking up here? Oh, ho, ho. We got Salt something there. going on. Man, look at that, we're just salting the feet now. After scraping all that skin off. Oh, oh, that's, oh that's like an exfoliation with salt. What uh, They fried these things up now, they're, they're salty. <laughs> look at this, this looks like a, uh, a meal's being prepared, but it's just my feet getting loaded up. We've been removed from the water. What's going to be next? I'm drying the feet off. All right, we just put some lotion on. And he's doing something on the beads of my foot. Oh. It's actually pretty painful. Oh, all right, we're building some friction now. That's heating it up. Are your legs burning? Uh, they were, not anymore. Yeah, a little bit. And it looks like we've just reached the 75 minute time where we're getting a couple extra bonus seconds here. The last little beating. All right, we're getting extra time here. Oh, yeah. your, your time went off like five minutes ago. Yeah, they, they, I think they finish until they've done their like, they have like a routine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting the full leg wobble right now. Oh, we're just getting started. I think you signed us up for the 12.50 package, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he's just, oh my gosh, this feels so crazy. Ah, holy crap, it just suctions the feet like that, oh my god, this is, what is going on over here boys, put them up, what do we got going on over there, <laughs> alright this is going to leave a nice big black bruise, I've never had this done in my life, see how your foot is curved, just like involuntarily, yeah, oh that's true, are we, oh we're fixing the arches, it gets worse, boys. Oh yeah, it's really starting to pick up. It, the it longer gets, you keep it on, it gets pain. It gets more painful as you go on. Oh, it just cuts the blood circulation. I'm not too sure what it does. Someone will know. I think, uh, I think uh, one of the main benefits is it gives you gangrene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this actually is super painful. We can't. We can't leave now. Oh. They got it stuck here. Yeah, they fried up the feet, they salted them, skinned them, and now they're uh, pressurizing them. <laughs> What's going to be next? Yeah, I don't know if I like this uh, whole treatment. This is painful and I'm worried I'm not going to be able to walk after. Look at that. That is going to be so bruised after. Ah, it feels equivalent after like, I don't know, it feels like they're just super bruised right now. I don't know, it kind of feels cool, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one. And how long? They don't even have the timer set. How are we going to know how long we're keeping this thing on? Alipay going. We got a good price. Uh, how much? How much? Yeah. You'll, have, you'll have to confirm it before. Oh, okay. There we go. We don't know the price. Oh, 414. 426. How much is that? 15 times 4, 60 bucks. So that comes out to $60. Oh, $20 each. Oh, $20 each, all right. Wow. Oh, confirm. I didn't hit confirm. Wait, is that her person? Payment successful by Jean.
Oh yeah, oh yeah, cash in hand, brother. She 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 she. I'm a. Tai hola. Tai hola. All right, that's not bad. Twenty dollars. So that's a seventy-five minute massage, and I don't know, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, maybe longer cupping. That's a great deal out here in the one and only Paris of China. We lost the cup. One of them just popped right off while I was chilling. How are we looking? Oh, we got something going on. Oh, and we're taking them all off. We're done? That was the last one on, first one off. It's like the accounting terms. Look at that, what is wrong? Oh my gosh. So apparently this improves blood circulation according to Google, but it can lead to foot infections. Mm. Well, I don't see any bruises yet, so. So far it looks, looks okay. It just looks like I have a giant callus on my foot now. Shishi, goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Haola. Goodbye. That was a legendary massage. Honestly, they absolutely beat us up, took care of us. My legs are still just burning from them skinning everything off. See you, my friends. Such nice people, honestly. Massive language barrier. Couldn't understand each other directly, but could absolutely understand each other in this way of like enjoying each other's company. We're all laughing, Sarah, in our own comments between each other. No clue what the other, you know, Chinese speakers are saying versus English speakers, but we sure had a hell of a time. So that for you is a Chinese massage here in the Paris of China. So after about five hours exploring a place that I expected to be more of a ghost town, a place that I understood to be a failed project, I have a bit of a different view and my first thing that comes to mind is this place has a lot more life than I would have expected and it gives you more of a look into what the non, I guess, uh, globalized cities like Shanghai are like and there's obviously some challenges in that but I'd love to ask the boys what you think of it. I mean it's definitely weird, it's definitely quirky. But I think overall it's, it's kind of like a fun day out for sure. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'd say uh, the perception of this place, link in the description below, is <laughs> He's that Chinese people are not so friendly and hard to interact with. But we've just proven today that once you get out of the city, Chinese people are so friendly and it's impressive to see. Yeah, it's so true. It's, it's one of these places that I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are going to drop comments and say things like, what are you doing in China? Are you paid by the government? Typical things, especially whenever we visit places that are not always portrayed the best in Western media, there's always some concern. But like people are people no matter where you go in the world and you can find some amazing things to love about them. And we absolutely have as we've been exploring here. Even though the language barrier has been super tough, you can still feel that energy back and forth with smiles and a few basic words. So it's been an amazing time. And thank you guys so much for watching. As Harry mentioned, I just launched my clothing brand Perception. So definitely head down to the link in the description Check it out and you can get yourself one and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. <laughs>